Ja, och så måste trailern och Kiwi, Axon Guy with better bike and definitely better legs than me. Because uh, I'm not pedaling uphill on this trail. On the way down will be a different story, but that's that's about it. I should have better views from higher up. Skogan Trail heading for Skogan Pass. It almost feels like this trail goes forever. It's already 1 p.m. Very, very long trail. Trying to reach a point from where I can see at least Mount Magilivray. Perhaps for some other time trip. Finally, a Skogan Pass. Almost 2100 meters. Elevation, quite uh, an unexpected turnout for this trip. Pleasant surprise to see the three sisters from this angle and the uh, wind ridge in front of it. And the amazing uh, thing about this location is you just get on over the other side a few meters behind the trees and you get to see a different view altogether. But uh, I still can't figure out how to get to Mount Magilivray from this Kogan trail. It looks very, very odd. I'll hopefully explain it in just a bit. But yeah, I must admit the scenery is quite spectacular considering I have now so many peaks never seen before from this angle. Which is quite a surprise. Beautiful mountains. This must be Mount Kalembola. And larches are in color. These larches are f from the fir tree family and the only, the only ones that will lose only to regain new leaves the next year. So they are now yellow and in a couple of weeks the leaves will start falling. And uh, that's the end of their cycle, I guess. And look at uh, what would, uh, would certainly, most definitely be Pigeon Mountain.
Yeah. That's probably Mount Grotto. And Lady Mac. Hauling from a totally unexpected angle, slowly moving towards the uh, wind ridge and then hauling, minor speak, Lawrence Grassi. and uh, it's turned around. And so on. And Cascade Mountain. A little uh, hazy. Probably from the forest fires. And of course, the town of Canmore and Bow Valley. Bow River Valley. Yeah, I'll close here and go on to the other side. If I'm not mistaken, this must be the west side of Mount Magilvray. Also very confusing, considering I had an attempt, but via the east side, so now it doesn't look familiar. Still, hmm. which one is a uh, North Batres? No way, it doesn't resemble. Uh, we'll see later, but I'm going to zoom now. It's a north from it. I have no idea which one it is. Maybe it's that one. I don't know. How about that one? That one is quite east from Pigeon Mountain, kind of makes sense for that one to be Mogilvray.
because yeah, that's a Pichu Mountain. Yeah, that's one you live right. Now I realize. The tree front. Obstructing the view. Eventually, I'll come back later from a different location if I can find one. Yeah, so it's Bow Valley direction is Cascade Mountain. Yeah. Maybe that's Kogan Peak. Looks like it's a pheasant. This is a nice to have on a video.
Okay. So that's Pigeon Mountain. They must be Mount Mogilivray. So I'm going to try to figure out what's up with this west approach, which for me today it's an impossibility. It's ima inimaginable to to get there from where I am now. It's so far. I'm on a Skogan Pass. Yeah. Definitely west side of Mount Magilivray. It's uh, new for me. And uh, I'll have to figure out for some other time how to get to it because obviously it's not. The way I came today, it doesn't help in any way, shape or form. I have no idea which mountain is that. But I know that's Kogan Peak eventually. I don't know. I'm descending now from Skogan Pass and I have to take a shot of this old baldy mountain with uh, the old baldy ridge. It's coming in almost perfectly. Yeah, this is a phenomenal descent, after all that work to go up the Skogan Pass now, now I'm, I should be very fast all the way down, just gonna take it easy. Yeah, I had to to hike another two kilometers, he was saying a vista point, and uh, yeah, I don't regret it now, especially because the uh, descent will be on a bike, so that will be quick and easy. 
and I get to see Mount Loret now and that was yesterday on its summit well, that's a south south uh, ascent which I done uh, a gully ascent from the east side south south side pretty much Larches are in color, amazing colors. And from here, I have several peaks, including Mount Baldi's ridge and traverse. The amazing Karnaskis Valley, it's Highway 40. Porcupine Ridge and Tiara Peak, Belmore Brown and Somewhere should be over there the midnight peaks and midday peak. Wasuch Ridge. The best close up yet. Amazing. Also, Mount Old Baldy. And Old Baldy Ridge. And the wedge and its north outlier. McKay, Mo McKay, and beyond that, it's kind of hazy from the forest fires, I suppose, and. Uh, I shall conclude here, it was indeed worth it, very special panorama indeed. This is Adrian from Calgary Alpine Style on YouTube channel. I'm recording now several of my last trips. I have uh, Google Earth as well as Map Source Trucks. For example, this is a trip from uh, Malorette Summit, and the next, the following day, I had a trip along the Skogan Pass, Skogan Trail towards Skogan Pass. 
here is Google Pass. On the way down, I had uh, an extra 1.8 kilometers towards this viewpoint here. It's a mount with Wasuch Ridge. Very nicely in a view. And the Kanaskis Valley down below. Beautiful colors of larches in yellow color. The idea for my my second day's trip on Sunday, last Sunday, was that I was trying to see how far I can go following this Kogan Trail towards reaching the west side of Mount Magillivray here and, and then going up slopes towards its summit. Eventually I was supposed to kind of go down in the valley at some point and then cross on the other side in between the unnamed peak here and Magillivray here. I did not all the way to the call according to one trip report but at least up slopes before heading for the summit. But uh, I had no idea where to turn on the right side and besides I had rather opted for reaching the Skogan Pass instead. So this must be for another time eventually. The best bet of reaching Mount Magilivere would still be via via the south. Via, sorry, via the north as I did up to this point but uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty straightforward from here some scramble towards the summit along this west side then up here yeah, the previous week when I did this on a Sunday on a Saturday I did I did go to into this canyon north of Pigeon Mountain and uh, I had to turn back and very sore hands from our previous uh, days and this I got blocked up ahead in a canyon while it was a big wall I don't know maybe 10 meters while on this side I was trying to scramble to see how far I could uh, go on the side of the canyon on the east side and it became too risky, too dangerous especially for my sore hands so I had to turn around this is a parking lot for both trips on two weeks weekends ago. It's a turn off the highway. 
it's a tricky turn because uh, there is no crossover so you either can turn from here or coming from the east or you go further as I did because <laughs> I missed my turn it was too fast and after the curb you I couldn't see it right away and then I turned on next opportunity and turn back and park here by the way for uh, for last weekend's parking lot it's at uh, what is called the Ribbon Creek Trail parking lot it's pretty obvious once you turn here on the road towards Karnaskis village it's on a on a right side. It's a pretty big parking lot. Can't miss it. So my goal would be to another uh, plan for future trips to try to reach Mount Mary Berkeley, which is here. Continuing along this stony trail. I rode my bike for 5 kilometers up to here. It will be even more, even further. Or eventually to to park on a side of Highway 40 and cross a creek, Kanaskis Creek. So you don't need a bike for that. And besides, I got a flat tire, I got to fix it. Yeah an older trip up Mount Baldy. It was uh, in a winter very late start so I didn't make the summit. I got to do that as well sometime. And very quickly I will see what else I got. Oh yeah, I got the wedge before uh, as another couple of trips three weekends ago when I did one day I did climb the wedge was a, a same s on sat Sunday but the same Saturday I just climb on this side on the west side of the out clear for the wedge oh, it's playing tricky on me now I'm just gonna bring up the map source for now then I should close because I don't want to go over 15 minutes the allowed limit it's a moment for my YouTube clips yeah they cut me back due to I still have up to 2 hours but due to some copyright issues when I transfer from my other channel to my main channel I believe it brought up too many copyright issues as I said and now I'm stuck again it's up to 15 minutes only clips this is uh, the wedge trip and this this is the last 